Hi everyone, Andy Davis here again from Master of Voice, a channel with reactions to performers from across the world. In this episode, a first time reacting to Peruvian singer Yuma Sumac as she performs Atapura High Andes at a live concert in Moscow in 1960. Let's jump right in. Oh, look at her, so beautiful. Very stately. Oh my gosh, you guys. So many of you have requested that I review her, and I've known about her for quite some time. I used to have a co-worker that would play part of the soundtrack of different things, and of course, this is from the Big Lebowski soundtrack. It was used on that. He was actually playing some of her songs from the Mambo album she had put out. And of course, the Gopher Mambo is very popular right now as it's on the new iPhone commercial. And you hear a lot of her whistle register in so many of those things. But here in this performance, she's starting out with her extreme low register. Of course, known for having such a huge range from low to high. Here, though, down in her lower chest voice, the vowels are residing back just a bit. And of course, this, I believe, is based on Andean folk music or South American folk music from down there in Peru. And this is so cool. She is such a great presence on the stage in this beautiful dress with this Russian orchestra, of course, and I'm loving it already. Yes, now in the head voice. My goodness you guys they're in that section of course flipping up into her head voice they're so nicely supported the vowel wasn't as far back as when it was down in her lower chest voice low chest voice if you will it's migrated forward just a bit still placed back a nice mezzo soprano quality to her voice here but of course, I just really love that she's so into it. I believe this was the first song of this concert. And of course, you're wanting to put forth your best. And I'm just so proud and happy to have found a live performance of her singing. So many of the things out there are the recordings that we've all come to know and love by her. And I know several of her songs, but I'm excited to see her performing live. But what really stuck out to me there in that section was, first of all, the flourish, the, the run there, the inflections uh, at the end of the phrase, but also her ability to let that vowel and the volume sort of migrate around within her mouth. It's just mesmerizing. Great orchestra as well. Mm. We're forward here. wonderful vibrato there as she ascended into that vocal line there but just so cool of course I sort of poured over this for a while waiting to do this because I couldn't find the lyrics 
I don't believe there are lyrics to this song. If I am wrong on that, please correct me. But I believe this is just some wonderful singing, just on wonderful vowels that she is producing herself here with a mix of different consonants here, just doing her own thing. And I could be incredibly wrong on that. So please correct me if I am. You all know that I love to translate lyrics, if there are any to translate. Uh, but this could be based on an old folk hymn even. I'm really not sure on the beginnings of this particular song, but I was just so thankful to find a live performance of this and the drama she is giving this already is so impressive. <laughs> Love the tempo change here. <laughs> the control she has, you guys, is so amazing, especially up in that whistle register. To make your voice box, to control it enough to do these little things, very focused, Staccato at times, that takes such breath control, support, and just the control mechanism of your diaphragm muscle there. And then, of course, she goes right back down into her chest voice, seamlessly done. So impressive! Wow! <laughs> Look at her! So beautiful on the stage! What a command she had of the stage in this! So incredibly done and just shows off her excellent skills and no wonder she is so famous to this day and even there at the end giving us a different sound with just an S vowel there, the shh. What I admire about her is she was not afraid to do different things with her voice. So many times a singer gets caught up into one sound or one thing they think they are best at and they run with that. She explored her entire vocal range from the lowest of lows to the highest of highs and I think that is what drew so many people to be interested in her and I think she's underrated as an incredible vocalist. You know, I think possibly sometimes people just think of her as these super high whistle notes, but they forget about the full range and her ability to do anything vocally that she wanted to do to put forth such a cool sound, a great performance, and the perfection within that is so incredibly impressive. I am so thankful that I finally was able to feature her on the channel today, and I want to continue on in the future with more by her. I know she has so many popular songs out there, and this particular concert includes many of them. And so I do want to react to her singing live. She has such excellent recordings out on the internet, but the live performances are very few. There are some performances later in her career. She had sort of a standalone show for a few nights in New York City, I believe in the 80s or 90s. She has a talk show appearance, I believe, David Letterman even, and so... I do want to see those, but I wanted to see her back in her earlier years, in her early career here, and it was truly impressive. I hope you all enjoyed this reaction as much as I did today. If you did, please click like and hit subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. And as always, I've left links to my social media, my Ko-fi page. If you're able to contribute and support me in any way there, or just by sharing on your own social media, I would truly appreciate that. And otherwise, have a great day.